Hun yes? C can I ask you a question? If I said no, would that stop you? What are those white cubes you eat? <laughs> you mean tofu? Yes. Do you not eat meat? What I eat is none of your business. I've never seen tofu before. I was curious. You should ask someone else. Is tofu all you consume? My turn for questions. What do you eat? Whatever makes me feel good. Maybe I'm the same way. It's just called something different. And that is? I don't know why it's so important to you, but it's called veganism. This is between me and you. Got it? I know where you sleep. Where in the hell are you, Blaze? I was running a search for our new pal Blaze's location, and all of a sudden, this happened. Equone credite tucri. Latin? Do not trust the horse Trojans. Carol, just what type of search were you running? There. It's a message. Well, more like a bad dad joke from beyond the grave. Howard? His research files. Whenever there's any unauthorized access, the Trojan Horse program activates, and... Bingo. There's our little thief right there. The Southwest. That cannot be a coincidence. Tony, did Howard do this to all his files? Oh no. Only the good stuff. The really juicy stuff. How juicy? Well, I'll give you two guesses, but you'll only need one. A big green one. Hesitated with Bruce before and it cost us. Don't worry, this time I've accounted for- And if these results are correct, it changes everything. everything. You knowingly triggered that Trojan horse, didn't you? I did. Another trap, Bruce? Huh. I'm disappointed. No trap, Tony. An invitation. To what? Join Queen Demon and the Creepy Crew? If anyone could fight her off, I'd have thought it'd be you. And why would I ever want to do that? She values me, not the monster you all seem so fixated with. Together, we will shatter the limitations of what you refer to as magic and science. But don't take my word on it. My gamma accelerator is only the first step. We stand on the precipice of true Yeah, yeah, I heard that one before. Usually when Pops was ready to kick off a new arms race. Save your phony disgust for the cameras. We both know you're interested. I want you to finish Howard's work. Uh-huh. With me. Of course. Together we will fulfill your father's destiny. Yep. And bask in the glory of the Dark Mother. And there it is. Well, Bruce, I can see how well this whole Lilith thing is working out for you, but... The problem is, I already have a team. And while I appreciate the generous offer, we're gonna take back my father's data and then kick your evil ass. Dr. Banner was kind enough to alert Hydra's forces to your presence. If you ever wanted to show off your elite hacking skills, now would be the time, Mr. Stark. 
Me show off? What would ever give you that idea? And didn't I tell you to call me Tony? Just hack the computer before they smash it, please, Tony. See, that wasn't so hard. Some for the rest of us. to see it. Weak, even for Hydra. We will not fail. There is no escape. A weak attempt. Terrible salesman, Bruce. At least butter me up before you attack my deservedly huge ego.
bodies coming in. That facility is teeming with hydro reinforcements. Anything you can do to expedite the process. Look, you can't just smash the keyboard and wait for a bunch of algebraic equations to fly off the screen. This isn't some 90s movie. Got it. Why can it never be easy with you? Just lucky, I guess. Tony, wait. We have what we came for. There's no reason to... Follow him. I tried to reason with you, Tony, but you were never going to listen. Just like Mother said. Oh, crap. It's too beautiful. Too painful for words. away from that massive brain case of hers. I'm glad you're in good spirits, but the Dread Maiden is no laughing matter. Love the effort. Welcome assistance. fight. We 
will make this quick. Take advantage while they focus on me. Resistance is irritating. They are committed to the darkness. She's going to try summoning reinforcements unless you can disable her first. Sure, maybe we'll just take a few swipes at her kneecaps. That'll work. Fate is no different from yours. Here we go. I will not be defeated. Not always equal strength. not make it back from this one. I'll move like that once, centuries ago. Lilith has made this dread maiden in her own twisted image. 
Interesting interpretation. I would have guessed it was something out of Giger's sketchbooks. Remind me to thank Banner for unleashing this thing on us. He really doesn't handle rejection well.
fair against her, but the Dread Maiden was no match for you. What'd you call that thing again? Dread Maiden. Oh yeah, I can see that. myself there for a second. I should have listened to you. I'm sorry about that. He that starts out on a quest for vengeance. This work, this discovery, will have ramifications for generations to come. Think my own son, Tony. Better not miss. Every time it seems like I finally put my family issues behind me, someone has to go and pick at the scar. Is this about what Banner found in your father's files? Bingo. Let's just say your mom and my dad would have made a real cute couple. In hell. At least you managed to grab whatever Banner was after. Tiny victory, I guess. But I don't think Banner or his puppet master are gonna give up that easily. Especially knowing what kind of stuff my father had in those files. Perhaps I should know more about him. Your father, that is. Some kids' dads had hobbies like collecting coins or stamps. Mine collected Defense Department contracts. And on the rare occasions when he wasn't off trying to build a better bomb, he was yelling at me. Over what? Over everything! So Banner wants one of your father's bombs? No, it's worse than that. Howard had an avid interest in gamma radiation. That's the thing that puts the Hulk in Hulk. He always talked of constructing a gamma accelerator, an unbelievably powerful piece of machinery. If that's what Banner's after, we could be in a world of hurt. The situation is already dire, whether or not Banner is pursuing this accelerator. Yeah, but one thing about my dad's technology, it always made doing terrible things much easier. If it helps, we could go through the files together and strategize. I appreciate the offer, Hunter, but right now I just need to get out of this suit and put my thoughts together. Hey, boss. I could use some help. Well, technically, you're not the first zombie I've worked with, but you are the best. Shop class is supposed to meet tonight. So, just the two of us? Actually, when I asked Parker, he mentioned you stopped by. Said he could convince Robbie if I could get you to show. I'm sure everyone has something to say. Maybe. But... I already said too much. I have to fix this. We should not keep them waiting. Time to face the music. So, what did you want? A do-over. And to, uh, to apologize for the last time. It's a nice sentiment. But a do-over doesn't have much appeal for either of us. Yeah. I don't understand why we should keep giving you chances. You shouldn't. Not if you don't want to. But hear me out, okay? I've been the person in charge for years. When I'm stressed, I can steamroll people who never expected it, and certainly don't deserve it. That's what assholes say. To justify their behavior so they can keep being assholes. Half of the Avengers agree with you. Look, nothing I did was justified. I was a jerk. 
and I'm sorry. Okay. Look, when you take away all the trappings of ungodly wealth, I'm just a guy who likes to make things. None of my friends were into this stuff. I was the only kid who saw beauty in exhaust manifolds, who spent hours poring over the guts of a microprocessor. That's all I want here, to make things with friends. As long as that's still an option. That's the whole idea behind this? Okay, here's how we make this work. Tony Stark, CEO, is banned from shop class. But making things, Tony? The guy we're talking to right now? He can stay. That's more than fair. Took Tony long enough to figure out shop class, huh? I thought his suit had the thicker skull. I always believed Tony would do the right thing. That's where we differ. But I'm glad to be wrong. I'll let you get to it. Parker can't wait to dive in. Well, that was less painful than expected. Thanks for coming, Hunter. We all needed to, uh, clear the air. Glad that's over with. Feuding with Tony Stark is not an achievement I care to unlock. So, how about we make something new? We don't have much on this Sabertooth guy, but we know he's incredibly dangerous. He's also somewhat predictable. In what way? When it comes to a fight, he's extremely aggressive. Our ideas take advantage of that. What have you cooked up? The initial prototype uses a tailored pheromone to keep him away. It provokes an intense revulsion we hope will blunt his attacks. Like a foul scent used to keep animals at bay? Well put. Our other prototype is... Well, we kept it simple. It's part sedative and part itching powder. To trip him up with a thorn in his paw. A very distracting thorn at that. I finally have a use for the components you handed me. You ready to put this one to bed? I am ready. Parker's creative drive is amazing. Seeing how he tackles a problem gives me ideas of my own. And Robbie has the right intuition when it comes to putting these prototypes together. I thought he was being overcautious, but that's a crafter's care. Wish I'd seen it earlier. Look, I don't want to brag, but I think this is our best work. Yeah, I know, blah blah, teamwork, blah blah blah, but still, it's impressive what we can do when we all work together. I think that was our best work. Everyone did their part. I'm ready to call it a night. How about you? Give me a minute. You got it. You know, I might stay for a bit more. I want to finish an adjustment to the Hell Ride. Is that it for today? I am ready to go. <laughs> 